Hello everyone, welcome. Would you like to have an outdoor kitchen for a fraction of the cost? Well, I have an easy, affordable solution. If you'd like to see how you can take some simple materials from any building store and build yourself an outdoor kitchen, hang on. Some time ago on my Instagram, I shared an image with you, a little sneak peek of an upcoming project. Well, like many of you around the country, we've been getting a lot of rain, so it seemed as though every time we would get started, we'd have to back up a little bit and let things dry out and start over again. So we finally completed it, and now I want to share it with you. We decided upon placement and layout, and as I've said in many other of my videos, my husband is the numbers guy, so he ran the numbers and decided what materials he'd need, and we went out to the home store and we selected them. This video isn't going to be super detailed. However, all the information that you would need is right here on YouTube, which is where we got a lot of our ideas from. So hubby got to work. He started with creating the legs that would hold the counters or the kitchen, what we're calling the kitchen surround. He used wood glue and the Craig jig to assure a secure fit for the legs. Now to keep those beverages cool, we decided to go with an ice chest, a built-in cooler. You could add a refrigerator here. I just thought it would be fun to just create this. I had seen this done on YouTube over and over again, and I just thought it would be the coolest and very inexpensive. Here he's measuring the size of the top of the cooler so that when we drop it in, it will fit flush. He created what we're calling the prep side and he attached the cooler side to the prep side. Once that was created, he began to add the legs on. Again, for additional support, these were also installed with wood glue and the Craig jig. Now it's all ready to be flipped over and we can begin to create the area for the cooler. Here he's already installed the ledge that will catch the cooler and the ledge that will surround or enclose the cooler, the part that the top will sit flush on. Here he's measuring just about where he's going to need to rip these two by fours because those will be the area that will cover the top. So now there's another area that we had to wait for things to dry out, but we're back at it and he's working on the brackets that will hold the bottom shelf. We opted for open shelving. However, you could place your refrigerator in here. You could add baskets. You can also purchase outdoor sinks. So if you wanted to have a sink in here, there are garden sinks. There are ways that you can create a sink out of a, an actual sink. It just depends on how you want yours configured. This happens to be right off of my kitchen window. If I chose to, I could open up the window and make it a pass through. So I didn't really want the sink and as you may have seen, there's a water hose right here. I still may add it, it may not be up here 
with the kitchen. It may be next to it down in the grass, closer to the water hose. There are endless pos possibilities and it's all up to what you want. So here's another area where we had to beat the rain again and we've got both sides. We went with an L shape, but everything is all framed out now. We went with inexpensive pickets. Yes, pickets. They're like a dollar something each. And this is how we enclosed everything. And you could get, I believe, at least two um, areas, I believe. Each picket did two if I'm explaining that properly. Once it was cut, you had two. So it was very, very affordable. Don't worry about the dog ear cut off on the pickets because that's going to be framed in or enclosed. So don't worry about that. And here, it's a super hot day and look where I'm sitting. Yup, in my supervisor seat, just chilling. And look who's at work. And I've got my little sidekick with me. <laughs> We're just chilling. Again, guys, detailed instructions are right here on YouTube on how to do these enclosures. But I do want to remind you, if you do it, remember to leave your spacing between your pickets for expansion and contraction. So I don't know how he decided how much space to leave, but just a little space between each, each picket so that they could expand and contract. Now here he's just adding the trim to give it a more finished touch. Now you could decide to leave this just as it is and let the wood weather over time. You may want to treat it because it, it's wood. Uh, you may decide to stain it. Your area may have a better wood that was not accessible to me, like a, um, I guess it's red wood. I think that does a little better outdoors, but what I wanted to do was have it match everything else that's in my backyard with that brownish black color. So that's what I'm going to use. So while we're waiting one of these days for everything to dry out, I decided on the patio or the bar stools that I was going to purchase to go around them. Here you see where there's a nozzle going to go in so that the cooler can be drained. Here I am painting the color that I love. And what we used was actual deck paint. So when this went on, it gave it like a seal. It sealed it just as it would a deck. So it actually feels impenetrable by, by the weather. So I'm so excited that I decided to go with this rather than a stain or just allowing it to weather. And I think it goes perfectly with all the other pieces in my backyard. So I'm happy with my choice. Now at this point in the process, I haven't decided what color I want to do on the inside. So I'm still holding off on that. Now here's the idea for those pavers. Because of all of this wood and because of the firebox on the grill, you need to separate the grill from your wood. So that's what these pavers were for. So now these large wheels on the back of the grill, we replace with matching casters. So it would uh, be easier to fit the bricks up next to it. So now that both sides have been painted and we've decided on the 
placement of the stone and the grill and everything seems to be coming along quite nicely. DIY Weekend Warrior Mishap Number One. We had some mastic in the garage. We were always doing something, so we already had some mastic. I had my husband bring it to me and I didn't read it. Well, to make a long story short, it was indoor tile mastic not for outdoor so the next day of course it had rained and when we went on it to check it it was oozing out so we had to pull everything up fortunately they came right up and we cleaned it we replaced the wood and we started over which was cool because I didn't like that wood that was there initially anyway so here the tiles have had an opportunity to settle and we're now trimming out the tile Now the tile trim has been painted and we're moving on to the next step. We're letting it dry here. I still at this point needed to add some uh, grout. Our surfaces were 24 inches. We used 18 inch travertine tile which was one complete tile and a second part had to be cut to fit. Tiles on the shelves are just sitting there. They're not attached with mastic or anything. They're just there. Now also on Instagram and I made a video here of some outdoor solar lamps that I made for the area. And now the reveal. We used some paving stones that we already had and we enclosed the area that would hold the bar, bar stools and we filled it in with pebbles and sand. Now this little ice chest, let me tell you, we've had an opportunity, we used it for the 4th of July and we, we're out here all the time now. And when you put one to two bags of ice in that cooler, they last in that cooler in this southern heat for about two days. Love it out here. You may have seen some sneak peeks on my Instagram. My husband and I have coffee out here every morning, every chance we have an opportunity to. My daughter has been out there with me. We've sat here and we've had snacks out here and we've done our planner planning out here and we absolutely love it. Now remember guys, you can customize this to your specifications. You can add stainless storage. There's stainless storage boxes you can purchase. You can add wheels to yours if you like. You can add a fridge. You can add a sink. You can tile yours. You can add stone on the outside. It's totally up to you depending upon your skill level and your budget. But keep in mind this cost us I believe less than $300. We already had the grill. The most expensive pieces were uh, probably the pavers and the tile if I remember correctly. But again, you can complete it to your specifications. This is a sample of some of the storage ideas that I have. Just some ways to keep some items out here that would um, be easily accessible and of course it matches everything else and that's why I love it. So I hope you all have enjoyed this video and I hope it has given you some ideas and some inspiration on how you can create your very own outdoor kitchen on a budget. I'm here to show you creative ways that you can have the things you want in and around your home in an affordable way that's why I'm here so I hope that you find something that you can utilize and remember there are more detailed instructions right here on YouTube which is where we got a lot of our instructions from so that's why all of these people including myself make these videos I believe it's because we want you to be able to use them so as always 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, please consider giving this video a thumbs up if you found some useful things in it. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe.